night. It's Saturday night in Singapore. Let's eat at Lao Pusat. Take me home, take me on a ride. I, I got a good feeling about the colors lighting up your eyes. Take me home, take me to the sky. I, I got a good feeling. Tell me the only thing you are is mine now. Oh. I got a good feeling. I got a good feeling. Good feeling. You wanna know is how to hold on to it every moment. So La Pasat is most famous for Sate Street. I'd say where they shut down one of the streets and they put tables out just like the table we're sitting at now and then all these satay stalls open up so we ordered satay for two people Bodhi will share as well we got 10 prawn 10 mutton 10 chicken and some rice cakes from satay stall number seven which on reddit supposedly said it's the best i've come here a couple times before and it's always super delicious but it's also just a really fun cool experience at an awesome hawker center so let's get the food Let's eat. Chris is up getting a drink. Anything you want to add? We said lots of things. We did say lots of things. Anything else? Okay. I want to say lots of things and you said lots of things. Okay, go on. It's like so amazing. We're like sitting on a real street. People are trying to get across to get to places they cannot. Or like the 7 Eleven there. They can't drive there anymore, can they? Yeah, they can just walk on the sidewalk. This was featured in Crazy Rich Asians, so if you've seen that movie about Singapore, this was in there, and it's always such a, a brilliant, fun time. So. And it's so amazing because we're sitting on a real street. Okay, let's wait for our food and let's eat up. Yep, yep. It's just a lot of effort. And they come with um, the peanut dipping sauce. Now, let's go ahead and let's try them out. Lots of sauce. Mm. It's really smoky. I think mutton is the best. Pretty like some mutton as well. And then the satay comes with cucumber, onion, and some um, rice cakes. Mm. Mm. So much. Buddy, do you want to try one of the shrimp? No, oh, buddy does not like shrimp. But let's go ahead. Chris already had one. How was the shrimp? Yeah, Feel this bad boy. Mom, I did like the rice. You like the rice cake? Do you want to try a little bit of the rice cake? Yeah, it's super good. Yeah, I'll try the rice cake. I dip it in the peanut sauce. No, that means you have to eat it. Rice cakes are good, but kind of plain, right? Do you like that one? <laughs> okay. Can I try it? Might be spicy. Might be really spicy. Water. <laughs> that is spicy. It's very spicy. <laughs> <laughs> okay, we finished our satay. It's absolutely delicious. I personally like the shrimp the best. <laughs> A little spicy. Chris, what did you like the best? I thought it was all good. I don't have a winner. I enjoyed all of it, honestly. And Bodhi was smashing the rice cakes and the mutton, so she absolutely thought it was delicious. Hey, what was your favorite thing? Uh, sauce. What else? <laughs> the sauce? Yeah, Bodhi liked the rice cake and the sauce. 
this was Chris's first time here and he think he keeps pointing out just how cool it is. It's definitely one of the most iconic things to do in Singapore. I think the one to two person combo was enough for us because we had a little bit to eat before we came out. But if you're definitely, if you're super hungry, go for a bigger portion. Or you can order some like Indian food as well from some of the hawkers who are coming around trying to, to sell when you're already at your table. So let's go ahead, we'll wrap up here and then we'll see you over at the fireworks. Closes weekdays and weekends. Madness. Some people that are planning to come here, they might come at the wrong time and don't even even get to have dinner. Okay, what time is Satay Street open? 3 p.m. to 3 a.m. on the weekends. 7 p.m. to 3 a.m. weekdays. I didn't know that. I thought it was only 7 p.m. onwards. No wonder it's so popular. upscale hawker centers and it's definitely historic in its building it's famous for the clock tower that is at the pinnacle of the building but they have everything filipino food korean food chinese food japanese food western food satay so we just ate satay today but we will definitely be coming back here more frequently to eat all of the delicious singaporean delicacies in a really nice environment and plus they have fans which is a bonus for a hawker center and it's not too hard to find a table so if you're in singapore and you're staying anywhere downtown i highly recommend it Definitely. You can see the bay behind us, Marina Bay Sands. So we're down here. Yep, and to see the jets and the fireworks. For the jets and the fireworks. Now there's so many people here. Like, like a like, million. <laughs> like a million, it feels like a thousand people. The fireworks are supposed to start somewhere like 8, 8.15. It's about 7.50, 7.50 now. So we're gonna hang out here, wait for the fireworks. It's absolutely beautiful. <laughs> the sun has gone down. You can hear everyone behind us. Let's go ahead, let's wait for the fireworks. Amazing the fireworks. <laughs> First it was your practice round, and then it was the proper round. Yeah, but this is all just a practice for National Day, which is in August. So they do four. They did two in June, two in July. Two in June, two in July. But it must be like hundreds of thousands of dollars worth of fireworks. Worth it. Fireworks. I wouldn't come and down on National Day. I though. think no. everything starts at different times. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Jets. Fireworks. Go to the morning. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> 
<laughs> okay, that's it for us. We will see you on the next one. Uh, and next. then we eat your whole face off. <laughs> later, 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 bye. Bye.